Hey guys, today's menu, I have pasta lasagna. Just something I kinda like created a while back and I don't think I made it for the channel, but let's go ahead and get into it. Now, the first thing I have as far as, um, I have the ground chuck and pork, I have the mix. Um, I like using the mix when I make my lasagna. All right, we've got two bags of the Sargento mozzarella shredded cheese. And I have the, today I'm going to be using the Mueller corkscrew pasta for this particular uh, lasagna. Of course, I've got my Parmesan, I've got my ricotta cheese, just my little Trader Joe's uh, green goddess mix. And I have two jars of the Prego roasted garlic and herb. And of course, I'll be seasoning my meat up, so. All right, on today's menu, pasta lasagna. Let's go. Okay guys, I'm back. I've got my pasta boil. I didn't think you guys wanted to see me boiling pasta, so anyway. All right, so I got the pasta boil. I've got my pork and beef already cooked up over here. I already did that. Because I want the main focus is to be on me making the uh, lasagna, the pasta lasagna. So anyway, let me get my... Um, oven back on over here everything's still hot I'm gonna get my um, sauce in both of my jars I'm gonna put this on a low heat don't really need it on a high heat so putting it on low heat real quick here put a little water in my jar uh oh drop my top all right anyway let me just get this mixed up Get the rest of my sauce out my jar. You know what? Let me use this top to my second jar. All right, y'all know I gotta get all my stuff I pay for out my jar. Make sure you get all your groceries. All your groceries you paid for. All right, our second jar of sauce. Putting that all in there. Yep, we are using both jars. Yes, we are. All right. It's a quick, easy lasagna pasta. I call it lasagna pasta because it's made just like lasagna. Pretty much using the same ingredients. Um, but I'm just, the only thing different is the, uh, the noodles. I'm not using the flat lasagna noodles. I'm using the corkscrew noodles. So, that's the only difference. You know how it is when you have kids, you just kind of, you know, got to mix things up a little bit, so pretty much what I did one day I was like let me just try a different pasta you know I've used this pasta I used the bow tie pasta I've used the penne penne pasta you know just you know mixing it up for the kids because you know kids get bored after a while you know when you keep doing and cooking the same thing so all right so we got that sauce all in let's go ahead and get our meat our beef and pork in here get that in so we can mix it up and you guys can see how I'm gonna make this lasagna I just wanted to make sure I showed you guys this part with me blending everything in all right got that a little bit more sauce in my jar I don't want to leave no groceries behind all right and I'm just, you know, I do it this way because it's quicker and it's easier, you know. So I just mix everything up in the bowl. You know, you can eat it like this, you know. I've made it where it's just like this, you know, like a spaghetti kind of pasta. However you want to fix your food. That's what I say. These are my groceries. I can fix them how I want to fix them. <laughs> That's what I say. Can't be telling people what to do with their groceries now. Let people do what they want to do. Cook their food how they cook it. That's your food. You cook it how you cook it. You got to eat it, not me. So, I don't judge nobody. 
see this looks good just like this you can put it in a bowl you know with some garlic bread throw a little cheese over it this is good all by itself mmm doesn't that look delicious yes it does yes it does all right and that's the first step to me getting the uh, pasta lasagna prepared so I want to show you guys um, come and show you guys how I put that together so now the next thing I'm going to show you guys how I put the ricotta and the cheeses together I'll be right back all right guys I'm back just wanted to come and show you guys real quick how I do my uh, ricotta um, now one thing about me and the girls we like the ricotta cheese but we don't like like a lot of it if you understand what I'm saying we don't like a lot of ricotta cheese in our lasagna but anyway but when I do add the ricotta sometimes I do sometimes I don't but when I do add the ricotta um, I just want to show you guys how I make my ricotta mix all right so I'm dumping my entire thing of ricotta in here and this is a uh, 15 ounce it's the Publix brand 15 ounce ricotta okay get all that in there make sure I get all my stuff just kind of chop it down a little bit now um, if you guys want measurements I know a lot of people like measurements um, I'm just gonna pour some grated Parmesan cheese in here um, if you want measurements I'd say about um, three tablespoons all right yeah, about three tablespoons and I'm just gonna mix that Parmesan cheese up with the ricotta All right, put a little bit more in there yeah about three tablespoons all right and I'm gonna add some of this green goddess season blend from Trader Joe's you can use any uh, green season mix that you have it doesn't have to be from Trader Joe's but I'm just saying I love this mix and I'm also adding it for the greenery as well and I'm gonna do about one tablespoon of that uh, because see this has a lot of good stuff in it it's got uh, minced onions salt garlic black pepper dried chives dried green onions, spinach powder, lemon powder, you know, so it's still going to be, you know, it's still good to add in here. It's a nice mix to add in here. So, and I also added, you know, for the greenery, for the color. Just a little quick mix I made up. My little bootleg mix, I call it. You know, how you just throw stuff together. All right. Okay. All right, and that is our ricotta mix. The ricotta mix. All right, so let's move on to uh, putting our pasta lasagna together. I'll be back. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get our pasta lasagna ready. Uh, before I forget to tell you guys, I do have the oven preheated to 350 degrees, and I'm going to bake this for about... I'll probably do about 45 minutes on it because I want everything to melt together and I want that uh, ricotta mix that I made to melt all into everything all nice and smooth. We don't like that whole chunkiness, but yeah. That's why I made, it, made up this little uh, ricotta mix. All right, so let me first get in here. I'm gonna throw some of my pasta in here. I've got tons of it, y'all know that, so. Got this whole big old pot full. Get that in there first. You know, like I said, it's it's kind of, it's just like a lasagna. You know, it's just like a lasagna, but I'm just using different different noodles. You can do it however you want. Use whatever noodles you want. You can use the gluten free noodles. You can you know the vegan. However you want to do it. You can make this with the turkey. You know, you don't have to use the pork and the beef. Use it however you want to use it. And you can substitute everything, you know, that fits what you want. I'm telling you, they make it so easy for us. Sometimes I don't have all day to cook a two, three hour meal. You know, that's just the reality of it. But, all right, so I got that first layer in there. Y'all see how that looks? Now, the next thing I wanna throw in, I wanna throw my ricotta mix. 
you guys will see how I do this. And I kind of have like this little Dollar Tree spatula, you know? It makes it easier for me to spread it. You'll see what I mean. I just kind of put little blobs in like that. And I just kind of take the spatula and I spread it. You know, that way it's not a big old blob. And of course, you guys know when it's in the oven, all that's going to melt into those noodles, you know. Melt down into that meat and noodles. Oh, yeah. So good. All right, we got that in. And then we'll do a layer of our mozzarella cheese, of course. Nice layer. Nice thick layer of cheese in here. Quick and easy. Just like regular lasagna, you know. The girls love this, and so do I. We love anything that's like Italian-like, really. We love Italian dishes. I mean, I don't... We pretty much order out more when it comes to the Italian, but... I definitely want to learn how to do cook more Italian dishes, you know. Because we love the whole pasta, pizza, anything Italian. Like, me and the girls, we really do love it. Alright, yeah, I'm going to use this whole bag on this layer here. Alright, so we got the whole bag on that layer. Looks delicious. Yes, it does. Make sure I get all my cheese I paid for. Yes, looks delicious. Alright, so let's do another layer of pasta. Another layer of pasta here. looks delicious it smells delicious and guys don't forget to go in my description box uh click on that link to my second channel that is my uh spiritual channel over there uh so make sure you guys click on that link and um go subscribe to my second channel uh you know show me some love and support over there it is a lot of work having uh one youtube channel that i upload on every day as you guys can see i upload on this channel every day and my second channel, I also upload over there every day. So it is a lot of work, you know, but it's what God has called me to do. So it is a lot of work, but you know what? Got to put in the work. Ain't nothing good going to, ain't nothing uh, going to come easy. You got to put in that work. Can't sit around and be lazy. You know, the Bible says if a man don't work, he don't eat. That's just by yeah, so, and I live by the Bible, so, but not only that, my mom raised us, you know, I believe in, I believe in being hard working, I believe in working hard, and, you know, I've always been that type of person to work hard, so, make sure you guys go over there and um, subscribe to my second channel, alright, now, I'm, I'm finished with all the pasta in my pot, this is all of our pasta, let me wipe the stove off. I made a little mess. A little pasta sauce on the stove. Y'all know I cannot stand messes. Okay, so look at that. Looking delicious. I'm going to bring you guys in a little bit more so you can get a closer look. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we got the pasta. Let's go ahead and put our final layer of our ricotta mix. Get that ricotta mix in there. And this way, the way that I whip it up, the way that you guys saw me whip it up, it's, you know, it just melts into the lasagna pasta. It just melts right in, you know. Doesn't give us that whole chunky ricotta, you know, kind of feeling. So, I mean, me and the girls, I mean, we are definitely agreeing on that. We do not like the chunkiness. So, I came up with this little way of getting it in, you know, because it's something about the ricotta, you know, when it comes to lasagna, the ricotta just, you know, gives it, gives it that, you know, gives it that flavor that it needs. If you know what I mean, you know, I'm sure you know what I mean. It's like, like how you make lasagna without ricotta, but sometimes I do. I do. You guys have seen it on my channel. I do make it without uh, ricotta sometimes. Sometimes the girls want it. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes I want it in. Sometimes I don't. So, just depends. But when I do put the ricotta in, 
this is a nice easy way of getting it in there and see it'll just melt down it'll just melt down into the uh, lasagna and the last thing we'll put of course we'll put this last bag of cheese across the top oh. A whole bag of cheese across the top because of course I mean a whole bag of cheese sounds like a lot but it's not we all know cheese melts down we all know that cheese melts down to pretty much nothing so I always put a whole bag in that first layer and I always put a whole bag on the on the top layer here Ooh wee! this is gonna be delicious make sure I get lasagna um make sure I get the cheese all over here Especially over here on the side. And a little cheese kind of spilled down, but that's alright. I will clean it up. But I want to make sure I get cheese on those sides. Take your time. Get your cheese on there real good. You know, and this is just one of those quick meals, you know. That, you know, looks like you took all day to cook it, but it didn't. It's definitely a family meal, you know. Or you know what? If you're by yourself... You, you can cook it for yourself and this will last you for a couple of days. Lunch, you can take some to work for lunch. Come back home to dinner. Yeah, and I kind of like taking my hand and kind of packing it down a little bit. Just what I do. Just a little something I do. Kind of get it in there all cute and neat. Because you know it's going to bake, bake down anyway. That way we kind of get that ricotta cheese all shifted down in there. Ah. Delicious. Alright, that is all of our cheese. Now, and the last thing I'm going to do after getting my cheese that fell off the side. I am going to sprinkle a little bit of this Trader Girls. I'm telling you guys, I love this stuff. Um, I, I mostly like it for the greenery, but it's got good ingredients. I'm going to throw that across the top. Just to give us a little color because we're looking a little pale right now. You know I live in Florida, so we used to the sun. All right, so that's what it's looking like. Let me take you guys in really good so you can get a really good look. That is going to be delicious. All right, 350 degrees in the oven for about, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say 45 minutes. So, all right, guys, I will be back with the grand finale. Okay, guys, I just pulled the pasta lasagna out of the oven. It looks delicious. The whole house smells so good. Y'all know I got to take y'all in. Oh, my goodness. It looks so good. It smells so good. Ooh, I'm ready to go eat right now. Y'all know I'm greedy. Mm, 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 mm. I got to take y'all in real good. Mm, 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 mm. All right, y'all, that's enough of being in my business. That's enough of being in my business, so. All right, guys, you seen me do it, so you know I did it. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. That's on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube, of course. Thanks, guys. Bye.